Hello everyone and welcome to Chit Chat Stuff. My name's Hector and I will be playing FIFA 20 against Chai City midfielder Emmett Dunn. Emmett, pleasure to see you mate. You too, man. Let's get this going. First episode of Chit Chat Stuff. It's a new one for the fans out there. Let's go for a no rules, no rules match first. What are you saying? It's going to be dirty. Let's go for it. Love a bit of no rules. It's my only chance to win. I'm not the best FIFA player. That's what we're saying for the team. So what are we going to do? What do we reckon? I reckon I'm going to go with Canada, your home nation. And then, yeah. controversial one, but let's see if he can do it. I think I'm going to go with... Ratings. Oh, three and a half stars. You happy with that one? Three and a half. Three and a half's not bad. I mean, I'll take it. Mm. Oh, gone on to Cameroon now. What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> and he's gone for lead one. There. So is this going to be the team you'd like try to face in the next Definitely. round? What do you reckon? Definitely. I reckon. I think that's an even game, isn't it? Sunderland's probably the biggest team we could get. One of them, Sunderland or Pompey. Two and a half stars. Well, you've got to make me the favourite now with Canada. Four and a half. Let's go with the away kit. The all white. That's nice. Yeah, good. Mm. Yeah, good. He's gone for the blue kit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this going. Five minute halves. Let's do a bit of team management. I'm not too familiar with the Canada lineup. Let's have a look. No, we can't be going in 3 5 2. We've got a squad of 70s, it's not bad. Let's have three, a look four, at the bench. Three, four, one, two. We've got Scott Arfield, Burnley player. Forgot about that. Let's put him in. Four, two, one. So, just come off the back of uh, a draw at the weekend with, uh, what was it, Seven Oaks? Yes. How would you assess the game? Pretty even? or? Yeah, it was very even. I think it was like it was really scrappy, um, really hard paced game. Scruffy game. Yeah, I came on. And with about 20 minutes to go, and it was, it was quite surprising when I had to like adapt to that speed of play. Yeah, get so used quick. to it. But, what was um, the pitch like? Oh, it was lovely. Yeah, probably one of the nicest um, turfs or whatever oh, 40s really? I've ever played on. Yeah, nice. It suits Chai City's style of play, I guess. Definitely. Zipping it around. Good stuff. All in preparation for the big draw on Monday as well. Yeah. Definitely. Looking forward to that. You're gonna go down oh, and watch it. So down, yeah. Yeah. So pumped for that. That's Can't gonna be wait. mad. Crazy how far you lot have come already. Yeah, Hopefully, just know. keep the momentum going. See if we can get through this one. I really want a prem side in the next round, so we got to do it. Yeah, see what <laughs> that I would think. actually be crazy. I don't, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not going to happen, but I don't even know what I would do if it did. Oh, it'd be incredible for the club. Yeah. Come so far already. Home or away, though, what would your preference be? Home, we got more chance of winning, but realistically, yeah, an mean, away target. If a great we get game. Such, if we get such a high, like highly rated team, like I mean, someone like Sunderland, I feel like. Just it'd be like ninety percent of the experience, and then the other ten percent would be like, yeah, let's try and the win it. Experience over the result, yeah. exactly. So, I'd say like, if it was a really really good team, right, let's go. probably in a way again. But yeah. if it was a winnable game or at least a competitive game, I'd say it would be. I'd agree with a that. Game. It's more about the occasion, mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there. Definitely. Well, we're gonna do a no rules game. Could be a dirty one. But let's see what happens. I need to get off to a good start, guys. If this is a weekly thing, I want to get off to a winning start. Welcome to you all to let's the stadium let's get going. Canada versus Sunderland. And it done, you confident? I'd say so. Let's see what you've got in the locker. I'm all right for you, but I mean, I don't own it. I don't think you do either, right? I don't. My housemate plays often. He's always on the career mode, so I play him when I can. But I can't say I'm an experienced FIFA player. But anyway, you've come from, you've come from Chai to Canada, obviously. That's a big, uh, a big change, culture and everything. How did you end up here? Uh, it was so, like, when I was looking at universities, um, obviously before I came to university, I was having trouble finding something that I would really wanted to do, in Canada at least. Yeah. Because, you know, really the only thing I love and care about is football, of course. Yeah. So, when uh, a former coach of mine told me about the idea that, um, some British universities are actually doing like football studies and football coaching yeah. and stuff like that. It's quite hard to find nowadays yeah. as well. It really caught my eye, I guess. So I got into a few universities here in the UK and then I guess things just worked out with Chai the most. You made the right choice with Chai. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked back ever since. And obviously, you got involved in the futsal last season. Yeah. Player for them. I remember coming down to watch, banging in the goals. You change your role slightly now, more defensive player for Chai City. Right. How have you found that? How do you always kind of assess your own game? I mean, 
Like I've always enjoyed playing like a number eight role, I guess, just like box to box, doing a bit of everything. Big number eight in the middle. Um, but I've also enjoyed like expanding my repertoire, I guess, for different positions. So I like I like playing them all really, and and just becoming an overall player. Make I don't like a bit of a versatile player. Mm -hmm. I don't like specifying or being like particularly good in one area. So I feel like you know, that exactly, can turn yeah. into a weakness. If you can make yourself an all-rounder, then you're more likely to, to be able to help the team right. in different positions. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm always trying to make myself a good overall exactly. player, I guess. Yeah, of course. You did a good job of that for the futsal last season. Um, so obviously, being in Canada and playing football back there, how does the kind of level differ to uh, the football you've experienced in England so far? Um, well, the thing is, it's well, like... take the lead, nearly. <laughs> not quite, not quite. No way. I think the thing is, like, in Canada, there are actually some really good technically like, gifted players, but... Oh, he's got one. Come Emmett on. done with the lead. Against the runner player, it's got to be said. He caught me cold there. Yeah. I was trying to listen to his answer. I wasn't paying attention, guys. Oh, right, right, right. He's taken the lead. Fair play, good finish. Um... Anyway, was level of football. Where was I before I scored? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, there's some definitely good players in Canada, but I think, yeah, like the fact is there's so much money in football in, in England and everyone actually yeah. follows it that it's hard to go somewhere if you're, if, even if you're still very good at football 100%. in Canada. And um, the thing is, like, we have the MLS and then we have, like, the USL, which is the league below, but... Um, there we go, he's leveled it. 1-1. <laughs> This is an interesting game. We're playing fair at the moment as well. We're forgetting it's no rules. This will be cool. Oh, right. No dirty challenges flying in just yet. Let's one one. Completely forgot about that. Oh, it's intense. He's levelled it. But anyway, you think the standard in Canada is slowly kind of raising? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they just created this new league called the CPL, the Canadian Premier League, which is a big step, I think, for them. Right. But um, I'm not sure football in Canada will ever be anywhere near... You don't think you can ever kind of reach the level of, of English football? No, nah, never. It's hard to catch up, isn't it, with the Premier League? Nowadays, yeah. they set the standard. But for yourself personally, growing up in Canada, uh, were you kind of aware of the magic of the FA Cup? Is it seen as a big tournament over there? I wasn't actually aware of how, like, how it exactly worked until I, until I came here and actually learned about it. Like, I didn't know about all these qualifying rounds and sure, the fact that ev literally every single team in England plays in it. Yeah, and yeah. it's a huge cup. Because, you know, I only I only really ever followed it once. Oh, oh he's taken oh. the lead. He's turned it on his head. 2-1 to Canada. You've got to be celebrating in a way. I'm playing as your country. That's true. It's a win-win either well way. It's a win-win either way. Well done. Yeah. But anyway, back to the question. I can't even remember what I was talking about. I can't even remember the question <laughs> I asked now. What was it? FA Cup. Oh, right, the FA, FA Cup. Cup. Yeah. I only started following it until, like, it got to the semi-finals of the finals because right. those were on That's when it gets in TV and those were live streamed. But, um, yeah, so... It's not until you kind of play in it that you realise the amount of qualifying and preparation that goes into it. So, obviously, you guys have played a fair few games already, beaten teams in the, in the league above. But you've still only just made it to the first round properly. And this mm -hmm. is where the tournament starts for many of the big clubs. So, it's a long journey, especially for a club like Chai. But yeah. Now, I'm really starting to understand like, the magic of the FA Cup, I guess. Definitely. Uh, all these lower teams can actually make a name for themselves and things like that. 100%. And Chai is certainly doing that at the moment. With the amount of media coverage the club's getting, it's definitely a positive oh, thing. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think... I think we had about 300 followers on Instagram or something, now we've got about 2k or something like that. It's mental, yeah, we put the highlights out recently and it's gone up to something like 3,000 views. Really? Whereas before that was a couple hundred, so, yeah, it's, it's interesting times for the club, definitely. Yeah. And for you, obviously, the win against Bowers and Pitsy, massive deal. Uh, would you say that's your best, kind of, most important experience in football so far? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think the draw was also... I mean, that obviously we were playing football during the draw, but of um, Tense I think moments, in, in terms of my just like football career, I think the draw was insane because you know we obviously it was a bit of luck we needed, but oh, oh that's a, that's what a scream a finish! Up. He's killed two-two. We're evenly matched here. Yeah. But yeah, so like we need a bit of luck to get that, but I think 
the fact that we actually got it and just couldn't really believe that was that was going on. Well, that's the thing as well. You kind of make your own luck, don't you? You know, if you beat a team in the league above, and people will say it's a one-off, but we've done it several times now. Um, hopefully, we'll do it again in the next round. So, we're slowly starting to get the recognition for you know the quality team we are. It's getting there now. Definitely. And uh, I'd imagine pretty hefty celebrations after that one. A few sore heads for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you're one of the younger members of the team. Yeah, the biggest night we have was when we, what, when after we, um, we won the Bowser Bits game. Because like, we won, they were celebrating for that. But I don't think we planned anything for that draw. Because we didn't expect that to happen, did we? Like, was, yeah. Well, you go in expecting, well, hoping for the win. But yeah. when you actually achieve it, it must have been, yeah, celebratory time for the players. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh. and if we were to do it against uh, against the Prem side, if we were dare to dream we get that far, then I'd imagine the celebration would be something else. I don't know what we would do. <laughs> It'd be crazy. I don't even. I can't even imagine that. That would actually be so mental. If you could face any Premier League club of your choice, who would it be? Oh. Is there any question? He's just he's curled oh. on into the bottom corner. Post. <laughs> he's turning on. He's turning on the style now. That's a finish. <laughs> Three two. And again, we're keeping it clean. This is no rules. So we're we'll starting to put some, some challenges in now. So if you could play one Premier League team, oh, if, we, if we get that far, who would you choose? It's got to be one of the big boys, surely. Home or away as well, that's an interesting one. Well, let's take so a look. Oh. It would be amazing, but to go to a big stadium I think, the occasion. Oh, I mean, I think anyone would say this. Would you be He's enjoying the replays on this one. He's watched yeah, it about four it. times. I love it. <laughs> I think it would be either, like yeah, Liverpool Man City because... I mean, I think everyone knows they just have all the crazy players. Of course, yeah. And just to say you've been able to play against uh, a Sergio Aguero or something like that would be unbelievable. I think right. unreal. Of course. And obviously, the FA Cup's kind of... It's half-time, there we go, 3-2. Let's see if we can make the comeback in the second half. But um, obviously, the FA Cup's taken centre stage at the moment. A lot of hype around that. But besides the FA Cup, would you, what would you say the club's kind of goals for the season are in terms of the league Hutchinson. and um, the rest of it. Well, when we first came into the league, well, I mean, I wasn't here when we first came to the league, but sure. I mean, everyone's sort of said like it would be a struggle to at least stay in the league because, you know, we're newly promoted. But now, I'm on, I honestly believe we could we could win the league, but I wouldn't say that's like our goal. Oh, great block, great block. He's denied in the fourth. The goal is to kind of yeah. top four finish? Or yeah, yeah, I think I, I definitely believe that we could um, make it to the playoffs at least. Is that not offside? Surely. There we oh, go. there's no offside. There's the no rules. Oh, my he's made God. It, he's made it count on this occasion. <laughs> That's the first kind of no rules goal we've seen. But I mean, okay, I need to start thinking about it. He's definitely offside, but he's levelled it. This is end to end stuff. End to end stuff. stuff. But you reckon a kind of top four finish would be a good achievement for Chile? Definitely. definitely. And I mean, making the playoffs would be a great achievement, and then getting promoted would be a real goal. But um, and I think, you know, after this FA Cup, we'll have the financial stability to, to stay up. Exactly. Well, it's crazy the amount of money they've made already through the competition. Mm -hmm. It's only going to help to build the club, hopefully, you know, spend that on facilities and all the rest of it. Um, but for a young player like you, when you first came to the club, obviously you had your spell with Bogner. Oh, off the post, gone. Quite. You had your spell with Bogner. But um, what was it like training with the team for the first time with a lot of older players? Well, I tried. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when I came back or when I, when I first... Uh, on your return. On my return. It was yeah. good. I mean, uh, it was interesting because Dabba was... Uh, Dabba was there, which, which I wasn't... Um, who I wasn't working with before. Right. Uh, it was interesting to have a session put on by him. Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely felt welcome when I first came. You know, everyone was introducing themselves to me. Uh, yeah, and you know, you can just tell when you first come, you can tell they're all really close with each other. And You get that impression from the kind of off-the-field stuff at the moment as well. Definitely. You know, the behind-the-scenes stuff we've seen uh, on Twitter and all the rest of it. It's quite a tight-knit group and that can only help you mm -hmm. to progress further in the competition, hopefully. Yeah. And I mean, you know, no offence to Bogner, but I think um, I noticed that a bit more when I... Oh, crap. He's in. He's in. He's in. He's in. Offside again. I think I know. Hit that. Rebound, surely. Oh, he's done it again. 4-3. He's taken the lead. I'm using the no rules advantage now. 
But anyway, the difference from kind of trying Bogner, how would you summarise that? Yeah, I mean, I think I just did notice uh, like a slight difference in like, the team cohesion, I think. Like, people seemed a bit closer at Chai than, um, than I was used to. And um, that might be because Bogner did experience a lot of new changes and um, like new players coming in. I, they do go through a lot of players. Um, sure. yeah, and Chai's got quite a stable squad at the moment. Right. Yeah, obviously, it was, it was a very new squad when they, when they first started. Sure. But I think they all integrated really well. So, yeah. That was, that was said, good to come to that. We get that impression at the moment. Hope long may it continue. Um, oh, what is that? Just over the bar. He's running out of time. What is that? He's going to get reckless now. Got to start using that. Uh, oh. oh! I'll say that. What have I done there? Yes! Oh, I've gifted come on! Him. I've gifted him one. He's leveled yes. it. Oh, focusing on the questions and he's, he's popped one away. Makes for a tense finale now. What happened? Okay, if we draw this, what, what, what are we going to do? It's got to be extra time, extra surely. Or we'll straight, goal or straight to penalties, I'll give you a chance. Or well, go golden to goal, maybe. The options the are there. Days, we'll have to see. We'll see. Good footballers, but but anyway, another interesting good. question I wanted to ask you was, well, obviously again, people remember for the futsal last season, obviously playing on a much smaller pitch, uh, small-sided games as well. How would you say that kind of style of game has benefited you now playing 11 aside? Oh, it's... Well, the thing about football is it's, it's really intense and really quick. So it's, I think it's helped me stay on my feet, and, sorry, stay on my toes, I guess. Um, and I think, like... Yeah, I mean, just the overall speed of it was just quicker than football. I'm not saying that like, football's not a fast sport, but... It's less stop start than right. 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 fast pace. You fast know, pace. Of, you say that helps to build your stamina, your fitness levels. Yeah, it was also like I was. I thought because it was a small, small pitch. I think I'd be oh, a big chance. Tired. Oh, oh my! So kept out. Emmett's on top now. He's taking control. I thought I'd be less tired because it was a small pitch, but I realized it's not really like that at all. No. It's, uh, it's since it's so fast. I mean, kind of helps to build your fitness for trying. Yeah. Um, and you personally, would you say getting used to kind of the physicality of, of men's football? You know, we're not talking, you know, uni football where you're playing with people all relatively the same age. That was close. You nearly got on there. But you can play with people that are, you know, some of them will be up to 10, 12 years older than you. Would you say your kind of training off the field, maybe going to the gym and stuff like that, has helped you quite a lot? Definitely. Um, I'm trying to get to the gym as much as I can, but it's. Um, it is difficult sometimes with a quite a busy schedule in terms of uni and football. Juggling a lot. Um, but I think also a lot of it is just... Oh, what a clearance. He's lurking. Great ball. Um, yeah, I think a lot of it is just... Oh, oh, he's in. He's in. Let's pause the chat for a moment. Let's keep him out. Take him out. Yes! Oh, he's done it. I don't believe it. Yes! 91 minutes. Oh, yes. Come on. Heartbreak for Canada. 91 minutes on the clock, Emmett Dunn, he's done it, and it looks like I'm going to get off to a losing start here. <laughs> Good finish, reckless at the back. Might just give you because you can. Reckless at the back, Will Grigg of all people. He's done it with Sunderland. We've got 30 seconds to score, but let's see what I can do. But anyway, you try and get to the gym as much as you can, try and build yeah. up the strength of the, and I think, the team. I think like, a lot of the strength I build is also like... Ref, oh, that Ref that's controversial, he's passed it to me. In on goal, but there goes the full-time whistle. Emmett's done it. Emmett's done it. Do you like that one? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> there you go. Never that one. Well, Emmett, it's been a pleasure. He's got the win. Just about. It's a good game, though. Standing good at the end. Close game. That's quite close. Close game, but you know, Emmett's, Emmett's beaten me in the in the first match. But we'll make this a regular thing. We'll see how I get on next week, and hopefully, I can get the win there. But Emmett, best of luck. We'll draw tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Uh, let's hope for a big tie. Yeah, and let's just see if Chai City can, can progress to the next round and hopefully face a Prem club. Um, and from myself and everyone else involved, best of luck for the rest of the season, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.